Hi guys, this is my third lecture in the series of facility planning and plant engineering course. And we have already discussed in lecture one and lecture two the needs and the requirements of facility planning. Today we will discuss a most interesting, a most important is the systematic layout planning. In short, we can say SLP. So this SLP or the systematic layout planning developed by Muthar in 1961. Today, instead of using computerized layout planning, we also use systematic layout planning. And this systematic layout planning basically divided in, into three sections. That is first section is the analysis second section is the search and the third is the selection so if we are talking about the first section analysis so in this section the first is the input data and the activity so once you have to getting input data and activity the question is that what is input data and what are the activity involved in your planning so your input data basically if we design the layout so the three important parts three important sections are involved in the designing of the layout one is the scheduling another is the processing and the third is the designing the so scheduling processing and designing of the product they are having its a very wide range input data or heavy uh, very big data for planning for the utilization of the planning so in in all three sections you are designing the layout we have collect the information from these three sections design process and scheduling and these input data first you uh, taking in your slp approach the first part is the flow of material. Designing the layout, the analysts work on the flow of material, equipments, and etc. etc. So, what types of flow of material means flow of material from uh, input to uh, yeah, you can say raw material to finished product. The flow of material uh, we will taking in that sections, and the another is the activity relationship and in the uh, activities involved uh, to flow of the material or the associated with the input data they are constructed the relationship diagram your relationship diagram may be made by getting the information from these two parts flow of material activity relations so this is and once you start the relationship diagram, in your relationship diagram, you should know how much space are available and how much space are required. So in the analysis, these two segments should be equal. Means suppose your space requirement is 2000, uh, so 20,000 square feet. So your space available should be 20,000 square feet. So this is the little bit some information gathering from the uh, relationship diagram and this relationship diagram converted into a space relationship diagram so means from your analysis part you are going into the second section search part so your space relationship diagram after having all the values given inside there, you can modify it consideration or the practical limitations to develop the layout alternatives. So number of alternates you can develop by changing, suppose changing the design. Ultimately, you have to change in the layout design. Suppose you are changing in the scheduling. Suppose you are changing in the processing, 
ultimately these changes basically develop the some changes in your layout yeah, yeah, yeah you can say your uh, layout become modified or whether it is practically uh, possible or not because if you are talking about the building building have some some restrictions suppose pillars are there and um, your at that sections you cannot remove the pillars because this is the limitations yeah you are you can say the transport uh, transportation yeah ventilation problems etc etc so they are covered in all in your planning so once in search parts means you are develop the alternates layouts after getting the alternate layouts you have to choose or you have to evaluate which one is the best as per your requirement as per your demand you have to take out the right layout planning in systematic layout planning so this is all about the structure of systematic layout planning once you start the problem or you can analyze the problem related to the slp approach so we will further uh, discuss in numerical parts how to uh, applying the slp approach uh, in planning so this is all about the systematic layout planning and this is your flow analysis approaches flow process chart multi product process chart flow diagram and from to charts so this is the part of the analysis so with this figure this is the relationship diagram at the left hand side there are numbers of departments are there okay and these departments having the relationship with each other according to the uh, rating giving to their which one is the most important which one is the important which one is the uh, undefined which one is the uh, just normal so all the datas are put inside this matrix okay. so this is the relationship diagram one i have already told you in the first section of the analysis part in the slp approach or the systematic layout planning that your relationship diagram constructed by using the flow of material as well as the activity involved so once you start the planning so these are basically is the closeness rating and this rating basically given to their activity which activity is the most important so here uh, in the table your vowel letter is given to their a e i o u and x okay and here the number of lines and the number of values are their requirement of area to be mentioned there if suppose any two activity having the a relationship so it's mean that that is absolutely necessary okay if two activity having e relationship it means it is especially necessary not absolute if it is the i relationship between the two activities it means that is important but not absolute or not especially important so o i u and x are not desirable so in your planning we give the rating in your activity relationship chart and uh, you must know your a relationship not more than uh, 10 to 20 percent in your planning so they depend on the uh, types of the data involved in it so this is form to chart so just i am giving this figure okay what is the shape of the form to charts so basically in uh, vertical and the horizontal direction all the departments are listed and we move the distance from one department to other and noted the distance and these distances are filled in the square matrix and this matrix horizontally and the vertically having the same values 
okay so this is from to chart so this is also helpful in the planning and this is this is the one chart layout planning chart after you do it so in the this is the basically effective process chart in which all these things are involved if it is the operation if it is the transportation inspection delay and the storage so from raw material to finished products uh, this is the line diagram basically uh, they are involved in it so this is and as far as the activity relationship is concerned i have already told you that there is the some thumb rules that is your close net rating to be allowed for a and x is 1.5% sorry 0.5 5% only so and uh, 10% is given to e 15% is given to i 20% o and 50% is u means u means uh, this is the activity just uh, undefined means uh, these relationship will not affect the activity so uh, in the analysis part of the facility planning constructive type of algorithm or the improvement type of algorithm we can use so this is the solution of slp approach problems what are the methods involved in the systematic layout planning that is the relationship diagram process graph based process traditional process purpose premises and the proximity so we will covered in our numerical part one by one what is relationship diagram process how they uh, make the plan how they arrange the departments all they are involved related to the analytical parts so we will cover this sections in the numerical parts so this is one problem given to the earth. that is a new company has required that a new layout be designed for their operations there are the 10 departments involves the departments area if it is given or not given generally the area is given okay but in the numerical part we can we can neglect it and after that we will cover the area to understand how to how to make the uh, you can say how to make the layout if it, whether if the area is changes among the departments okay so uh, here so design the block layout using the slp approach here the closeness ratings are given to there and your problem become is this there are the 10 departments 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, these departments name are involved suppose uh, department uh, here all the ratings are given to there in the matrix so this matrix suppose uh, if we are talking about uh, department 1 and 2 department 1 and 2 is the over relationship that is means ordinary relationship so uh, they are so in your planning in your relationship those department having the a relationship so it should be very much close as uh, very much close to each other according to the rating so first we have taking the a parts but the a uh, means uh, uh, a rating departments and e rating uh, re, uh, e rating departments and i o u and arrange so today uh, this is all about the systematic layout planning and uh, this problem we will solve in the next lectures thank you very much for their patience thank you